say you've got a story to tell, and I believe the Lord will let you go tell somebody. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably through a whole lot, you're going to get, gonna get to tell somebody what the Lord probably is. Right? So, uh, thankful for that. He's a top man in the neighborhood, and he's a good wife. And we miss them here. Somebody's time to see. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what, what joy to do. I don't think, uh, I mean, I always come in on fire, but I don't ever take that for granted. Uh, the Lord's opened my eyes in many of the service and showed me what he could do. And I don't think I'll just see him either, you know. So, glad to be here. Be able to see him. That you remember our school kids that I know the camera went back today. Uh, see the school go in school and so on. Continue to remember them. Say, Brother Dottie, I pray that the Lord wants to help them. The teachers and the bus drivers, like students, everybody that's involved. Let's say that. I know the Lord will be watching over them. Good to be here. Good to see you everybody. Good to be excited. So, we appreciate your work. I believe you do that. You do it. I believe you do yeah, I got to think about what you said, Johnny, about that. And I thought about that. And now that I don't want to try to pick that up, not somebody else to pick that up. I want to walk the Lord each other. And the other morning she came in there and I was sitting there reading. She said, she said, my hand going like this. So I didn't read the Sunday school list. And I said, well, yeah, no. I said, talking to the Lord. That's the only thing I want to help with that. I, I could never. Or wow. let the Lord he come through. I got something, something to say, you know. Amen. But yet, you know, I have to put more than a mm -hmm. and and, uh, and he knows where uh, he gives their hearts. And all. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have a request?
Let's be here and wonder. Let's be here and let's talk about strong as we are. But anybody else got a request? I have several requests. I might be able to remember Cecilia that had church for a while. She has a son that's in the first seat. Anybody else got a request? I'm possible there too. Uh, Mark, you all remember. I don't even know his name, but people that we were in that lake house had over at Cherokee. That guy's dad, they found out he was out of range. And uh, he was come along with one was talking to him the other day. They're good people, but I know they like to drink real beer and stuff. I don't know if they go to church. Well, I'm assuming they don't, but uh, he pulled up on mom when I was talking to him and asked him how his dad said it to him. And so then, you know, I said, it don't matter what you accumulate here in life, as far as vehicles, boats, lake house, whatever. I said, you know, I said, you got to have it. You know, when you leave here, and I was trying to tell him in a roundabout way, you know, and, and said, yeah, 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 he was kind of. I'm going to get back to the you know, I don't know if that feels more or not, but remember his dad. You may Anybody feel that same thing?
22 that uh, you know somebody somebody might need him. What? Uh, he, he loves you enough to meet us here at this place and I uh, when all this trouble comes, but uh, listen, this season, I, I'm glad that God's greater than uh, anything in my life. I don't understand it all, and and, and that's all right too. But I uh, let me trust in the one that I uh, believe always going to take me all the way. The one that uh, one day that I put my faith in, I put my trust in one. I want him. I trust him with my family. I trust him with my uh, with my finances. I trust him when I get to be evil and, and I begin to go to work or wherever. I'm I'm going and I'll be on a two lane road. I trust him that I let him heal down the path and I, I trust that he'll keep that other thing away from me, the other car on the other side. I, I trust him that he'll keep that one away from me and, and he'll set the song. I, I'll welcome home one of these days. I, I'm thankful that he knows me. I, I in a free part of sin. I know him in that a free part of sin and, and I'm glad I can go back to the place and I can go back to the time I, I, where the Lord saved me and, and me and only just me and him and I had a little talk one day and I had a little talk with Jesus and, and I'm glad that he met me at that place and, and but he just as sure as he met me there I, I, he still knows me today and, and he knows my name and, and there's going to come a time that uh, when he comes on that Easter on that cloud in that Eastern sky I, I, he's looking for me and, and he's coming out for that which is his and I'm thankful that I'm part of that today and I pray that you're part of it and if you're not uh, uh, we, you can get things worked out with him I pray yeah. but listen let us read a little bit you know pray just a little while chapter 9 verse number 2 the Bible says all things come alike to all and there is one event to the righteous and to the wicked, uh, to the good, and to the clean, and to the unclean, to him that sacrifices, and to him that sacrifices not, uh, as is good, so uh, is the sinner, uh, and he that sweareth, and he that feareth an oath. And, and, and uh, verse 3 says that uh, this is an evil among all things, uh, are done under the sun. There, that there is one event unto uh, all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men uh, is full of evil, and madness is in their heart while they live. And after that they go uh, to the dead, for to him that is joined to all uh, the living there is hope, the Bible says, and for a uh, for living dog is better uh, than a dead lion. Uh, for the living know that they shall die, uh, but the dead know not anything, the Bible says, neither have they any more a reward, uh, for the memory of them is forgotten. And also their love and their hatred and their envy uh, is now perished, and neither uh, have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. And we thought about this evening how that, that, that all things come to all the Bible said there in, in the first verse. And, and I understand that uh, it's just not picking on one that uh, maybe has trouble with uh, or anything like that. And uh, we often wonder, I've heard that old saying, why does the good die young? Well, I don't know if that's right or not. I, uh, death comes to one and all and, and there's no age limit on it but uh, we see that it comes and, and I'm, I'm thankful all this evening that, uh, that I know that the Lord, uh, he, he loves all this evening no matter if they're weak and no matter if they're good uh, He loves them all and, and Jesus came to die uh, for one and all and uh, give His life a ransom for uh, for that one that was sinner and I thought about a time in, in my life when, when I wasn't for much when I went when one two a refined or walking I like an altar. I thought about how that how that Jesus died for the sinner that how that how he left the uh, uh, ninety and nine that uh, needed no repentance but uh, he kept searching after the one uh, that went astray uh, he kept searching after the one uh, that was lost I, I'm thankful this evening that, that God knows me I'm thankful this evening uh, that he knows every one of us and, and he loves us to save and, and he died Forced to save and, and buddy, we stand equal with him and we get to the cross and, and up the ground is level, I like to say, I have to put on the cross because and the Lord sees us all the same. Amen. All the same now. And we know.
know that trouble, Brother Johnny talks about, if you ain't had trouble, just hold on, it'll come after a while. And, and I believe that today. Right, it comes to one and all. And sometimes we think, well, oh, so and so, they live like the devil, and it seems like nothing ever happens. Well, I got news for you. Uh, trouble comes to one and all, and it'll come to their house one day, it'll come to my house one day, but I mean, I'll tell you what, today I think about those people up there and all the devastation they got, and, and we often ask for uh, the question, well, I don't know, well, I mean, I maybe mean, we need to turn to the Lord, I maybe mean, we need to pray, I mean, but our mindset on everything, I mean, this old world anymore, I mean, we're worried about the crazy stuff, I mean, we ought to have our eyes focused on Jesus, I trust in Him, I know that He is the only way, I know that He is the way today. The way. Yes, he is. In searching after His righteousness in our life. Searching after Him. Instead of walking contrary to what He would have us to do. We know that all things all things come alike to all, the Bible says. There's one event to the righteous and one to the, and to the wicked. To the clean, to the good, and to the unclean. And I thought about over here in the book, in the book of Mark, let's see, chapter 2, verse 16, the Bible says, And when the scribes and Pharisees saw him eat with the publicans and sinners, I thought about that. I'm glad he came out late one yeah. day. I'm glad I didn't fix this thing up and try to get pure enough that he might come and see me. And just like old Zacchaeus up in that tree. But I'm glad Jesus came and said he was going to go home with him that day. And those that were lost and undone and went to, uh, to the demon possessed one there that day and cast out those dead. I'm glad that the Lord can, he can, he can work in each and every one of our lives today. No matter what we may need. It says the Pharisees saw him eat with the publicans and sinners, and and they said unto his disciples, How how is it that he eats, eateth and drinketh with publicans and sinners? And when Jesus heard it, he said unto them, They that are whole need no need of a physician, but they that are sick. And he said, I came not to call the righteous, but the sinner to repentance. And you know, this evening I, I understand that uh, it'll rain on the just and on the unjust alike, I believe the Bible says. And just not the good or just not the bad, but it comes equally. But, but in all that, I thought about how God's love is, uh, I guess what I'm trying to get to this evening, how God's love is equal across the board to everyone. I, I can't help if you're wicked this evening. God's love is equal to you. And you know, the wicked one, he came to save, uh, he saved, came to, to bring, he was the physician to the unrighteous. And he came that they might be able to be saved. Uh, he came to seek and to save that which is lost. I'm glad today that uh, he didn't, uh, he just wasn't here for the righteous one. Uh, that boy that was lost that evening, that December evening back there, uh, that boy was lost and, and undone and looked like the world the day before and, and caught like the world the same day. But I'm glad that the Lord, uh, he saw something different there. I'm glad that the Lord uh, had compassion on every one of us. I'm glad that the Lord uh, saw me as I was and, and was willing to save me anyway, knowing uh, that the Father loved me beyond all things. I uh, uh, love me so much that uh, the Son came to die. For me, that he gave his life for me. Came for me. And that's why I wanted him to tell you that I love you. And he often say, because Jesus gave me something to love you with. I've got something to love you with. See, I couldn't always say that. I believe Johnny says that. There was a time I couldn't tell you that. But I'm glad that the Lord put something down in my heart that, yes. that made me love you. Yes. Made me begin to look at something other than 
than what I was focused on. That made me begin to worry about you and your children and your family and, and your neighbors and all those things. And, and you know, I'm glad that I believe as Brother Terry said, when we get closer to that table, I begin to think about someone other than myself. I begin to look at, and then what you may need and what I may need. I want to, I want to show God's love to the world. I want to show it to my little mission field. You know, he's not calling me to go to Zimbabwe. He's called me to be here at Ebenezer Baptist Church right now. And I can love right here just as sure as I can love up the road or down the road. Over yonder or back there. I can love right here. And I can love the little children that comes in. And I can love those grown-ups that comes in. No matter what they may look like, no matter how they may talk or how they may act or where they may have been last night, I can love them and know that God died for them or Jesus died for them just as short as He died for each one of us. That we love them no matter what. And He's willing to seek and to save. He came to save one and all. And not to leave anyone out. Not to leave anyone out. So we know. I know where that it comes to all. Not only does trouble come, but God's love comes to them and all. We can't pick and choose. I can't. Uh, he he don't. He didn't always love my ways, and and sometimes we still come short. But I'm glad that He loves me. He loves me so much that He gives me a, a way to make things right with Him. He gives me an altar to pray. And you know, I, I, I don't know anyone's heart and I, I don't know what's on the uh, what, what you need this evening or who may be on the broadcast or who may be in the house. I don't know that. But I know that I, I need to tell somebody about God's love to sin. I understand that. I need to come up the road and and share the good news of Jesus Christ. And we preached about the good news Sunday, but and you know I can't I can't come up the road on Wednesday without still telling about the good news that well, that's what it's about, just saving the good news and the gospel of him. And how he loves you and I. And he made a way for us. And not one of us does he want to struggle on, does he? Not one of us. Made a way for each and every one of us. Not only did he make a way for this old boy to be saved one night, he just made a way for him to get some peace, and some help, contentment. As our brother said when he opened up, we come our way, won't we? Come our way and speak with us. Now, I, I may not be as strong as some. I need some reassurance yeah. a whole lot of times in my life. Now, I've never had a, a thought in my mind that I was lost. But then you know, I've wrestled with the devil many times over doubt. And you didn't get it or this, that, and the other. We can go back to that place. Yeah. That place of some peace back there. Yeah. When that playing field was level. And when it comes to one, all things come to all. And he saw me just as it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buddy, I know that I made him at that place. Mm -hmm. I know that he saved me there. Yeah. And buddy, we can turn around and we can get back on the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. We can get back into marching formation mm -hmm. and continue on. That's just so maybe an hour before we thinking about the service. We go back. We get our cup filled up. Some talks about the Wednesday night service as a, as a booth that boosts the up the yeah. filling up my cup. And it is. Never regretted any of it. I'm thankful this evening. I'm thankful that He's it rains on the just and on the unjust and, and all things 
things come to all that rain that are a in that helps me grow sometimes. I, I like to say when I'm down in the valley, you know, I've done my best growing down in the valley. When, it, when are you in the valley? Usually when trouble comes in. Down in the valley, and, and I like to think of it this way, you get down here close to these creek banks, and you turn that dirt over. But I'll tell you what, it's black and just as creeks looking as you can as it would look. And you get farther up on these hills, get a little higher on the hill. But you, you turn that ground much and it'd be gala. It, 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 ain't, it ain't very good for growing. And I think about the Lord that way sometimes when I'm in the valley, it's not wasting the more while I'm here. Why's this happen? But you know what? That road's getting up into that good ground. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm getting close to that water source. Yeah. But it's coming up in there. Mm-hmm. But it's making me stronger and I'm growing. I'm growing in the Lord. But, but I, I'm mindful this season. I'm mindful to know that He loves me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm mindful to know that He's got my best interest in heart. And He's willing and able, whatever it may be in my life, to help me. As I said earlier, He was willing to save me. Yeah. But He's picked me up along the way. Pick me up. Sometimes I've had to get down here at this old altar and cry out on Him. Lord, I've come short again. I've come short again. Boy, I, I'm glad it ain't three strikes in the out. Boy, I've been out a long time ago. I don't know that they ain't no end to the strikes he'll let me have. But he wants me to come back and get things worked up, don't he? Get it worked out with him. Check mark on that. That bowl Terry talked about. Check mark on. I don't know that's a real problem to see. I, I don't know who it's for or what it's for. It might just be for me. I'm glad y'all come and help me help me with it though. You know, I'm gonna ask them to get a song. Somebody may need to cry. I didn't even know what the the party feels level. Uh things come one and all. Whether it be bad or good. Give them one all on give the rain on all of us when we're out. We get to grow a little bit. We get to grow. How do we grow? Just like watch the Lord. You'll grow once you grow in Him. So as we stand, maybe they sing this seat. Do you need to pray? 345. Oh, it's over. Yeah. You can hear it, man. Oh, it's over.
Again, we're thankful to be here. We're thankful for the Holy Spirit, His Word, His assurance. They want you get familiar with that word. The Lord has made some promises in there for us. And I appreciate that. Stay back here and probably wouldn't have a blessing like that. that thing that and that's all about to Right here now. Good testimony. Encouragement for everyone. Someone else. Thank you. 
Do you want to leave Saturday morning? Anybody that wants to go? You're going to start taking stuff at what time? Nine in the morning. Nine in the morning. Saturday. Uh, what time are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do I know? You're going to have a drop off Friday? Yes. Drop off Friday. Any time Friday. Any time Friday. Seven, eight. Here we go. Fellowship, I'll be open. Yes. Okay. Sorry. So if you want to. Uh, cleaning supplies, correct? Brakes, mm -hmm. shovels, I heard. Ghost uh, water, probably. Bridges washed out, can't get there. Fuck that station. Appreciate you. We appreciate you all doing it. Concerned for you. Hey, yeah. Sign of that letter, man. Hey, man, yes, it is. Anyone mm -hmm. else? That's good, you made it. You're in the Father, Lord, once again, we're so thankful for the opportunity to be here. But we're thankful for that great love that you have for us. Love, that love that you give us that makes us love one another. And we're thankful for that. You know that some are sick, Lord, some's having procedures. We pray for each and every one of them. Jesus Christ is my name.